breaking news in the NBA. And man, oh man, this is a great time if you're a Philadelphia 76ers fan. You guys been waiting to get the big three. You got Joel Embiid. You got Tyrese Maxey. And you're looking to add that third guy. And it looks like Paul George is on his way to join Philly. Um, we kind of all expected this. We seen this during the finals when they were sitting next to each other. There was all indications that, you know, Paul George was leaving the Clippers. And it makes sense. Like, he's not chasing championships, he claims. Uh, but you go to the 76ers, that's what it tells me a lot. Because that's all their goal is. When you got Daryl Moore, when you got Joe B, that's all they care about is winning. And I think this will be a perfect third option. Just because Tobias Harris was their third option. And man, oh man, that dude sucks. Now, I will say, I don't think this makes the 76ers the favorites um, because you still got the Celtics and you still got the Knicks, but it definitely, definitely bolsters, you know, their roster and it definitely helps their chances against those teams. So these are Paul George's number, and he's going to be the third guy, obviously, 22 points a game, five rebounds and three and a half assists, shooting 47% from the field. My concern is when it comes to the postseason, Paul George definitely struggles. Um, I'm pretty sure the Philly fans will be over him pretty, pretty soon. But hey, let me show you these numbers real quick. So as y'all see right there, regular season, 22 points a game. That's fine. But his points dropped in the postseason, averaging 19 points a game. Everything dropped um, besides his assist. His assist did go up, but his three-point percentage dropped. His free throw percentage dropped. That's my only concern, man. But hey, at the end of the day, the 76ers needed to make this move desperately. And look what happened. Paul George is now in Philly.